What is going on guys? My name is Ecstasy and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in as always. You guys are awesome and I appreciate all the views. 4,000 subscribers. That is insane. I can't believe we hit that milestone. That means so much to me. I mean almost 300,000 views on this small little channel about nothing but, well at this point Mopars, but all kinds of fast and fun cars of course that we get to enjoy. And today we're going to be talking about my 2021 Ram TRX. For anybody that doesn't know, this is Ram's pretty much like Ram 1500 that's on steroids. It is literally designed to not only beat and perform the same as a Raptor but completely blow it out of water and it, quite honestly it does the job very very well and very easily for that matter yeah this thing has got 702 horsepower it's insane like 700 horsepower in a four-door truck that's unheard of there's no need for it whatsoever but it is amazing I love it it is like the best truck I've ever owned and I can't believe I get excited about driving it every single day but I still do it it's awesome and today we're going to be talking about how much did I buy it for what do my truck payments look like and of course how much is insurance for a 20 28 year old uh, driver that's got a not so clean uh, driving record so without further ado guys let's get this video going all right guys so before i even show my face again you just gotta admire and enjoy this beautiful view i mean come on look at this monster look at this just massive truck with huge huge bilstein shocks and dampeners just popping out from underneath the 305 rear fat tires and 305s in the front for that matter but this thing is just on another level you park anything and i mean legitimately anything next to this i don't care if it's a ram 2500 ram 3500 this thing sits so much higher than everything else it's just it's on another level like i can't even say it enough it is literally not the same to anything else i've ever driven before yes raptors are great don't get me wrong they're awesome but a v6 come on now v8 supercharged this is what we all want this is what we always wanted and of course mopar provides even things that we don't want like i don't know a durango with a hellcat motor <laughs> but, but that, that, that's the thing as well so that's what's cool about mopar i just can't get enough of them but eight feet wide truck this thing literally takes up the whole lane and try parking it at any any store convenience store is it is a hassle it really is but let me show you you guys exactly how much i bought it for let's kind of go over all those features real quick and if you guys are interested to see my full review of this truck and the five things i like and dislike about it i will post in the description the link to that video and quite honestly there is a lot of things i don't like and yes this thing already has issues i've put about 2,000 miles on it already and uh yeah there's there's things that are popping up already um that well i don't know it's just kind of hard not to uh not to I don't know focus on or think about well first off just the paint drips like just the running paint drips nothing really matching up on the panels $90,000 truck I, I just don't get it but it is what it is nobody's perfect that's just the way we got to look at it I guess real quick I did not get a lot of like the you know convenience packages and stuff like that I got the level 2 technology package which has the ventilated seats remote start um, heated and cooled seats in the back stuff that I actually will use every day I don't need the panoramic sunroof I don't even remember last time I opened the sunroof and of course I don't need the Harman Kardon sound system so I went with the alpine it's it's actually in my opinion um sounds a little bit better especially with the subs and everything so now the options that i did get of course is the ram bar itself there is a fifth wheel or a spare tire holder i guess uh if you want to call it the mounts in here but i did take it off there's two brackets there one in the back and of course a massive tire that goes on top of it and the reason i took it off is well <laughs> you don't have a bed if you use that so it was just one of those things like yeah, it looks cool driving around town and all but it's completely useless like there's no bed whatsoever if you leave that spare tire in there but it does look like a baja truck that's ready to i don't know just jump anything and off a cliff if it wanted to and survive for that matter so how much did i end up buying this 2021 ram trx for now keep in mind right now this is like the new big thing everybody's grabbing them um every dealership has them marked up substantially i'm talking five to ten to twenty to thirty thousand dollars above sticker price so everybody's asking the top dollar for them for a reason because well there's a lot of stuff going on that a lot of people don't know about unless you work at a dealership and that is that there is a company called stellantis that's having issues with producing microchips and things like that that fast enough to provide to all of these different brands and Dodge being one of them, Ram being one of them, Toyota being one of them. So there's a lot of stuff going on that people don't know about, but production on a lot of brands is actually getting cut down by a lot, um, a lot. And it's gonna be very noticeable in just about a month or two. But anyways, the reason why they're charging so much over sticker, well, of course, because look at this, look at this B, 700 horsepower truck. That has not been a, a thing for a while. You know, everybody wants the fast cars, the fast SUVs and stuff like that, like the track hawk. So when this came out, everybody wanted to 
top dollar they still do it's been a month over since i bought mine and people are still marking them up over ten thousand dollars i literally just seen a post out of georgia where they're offering it for 10 grand over of course they'll do free delivery which seems like a fair offer i guess but but anyways i bought this truck just east of where i'm at about four hours away the cool thing is this dealership actually delivered it to me free of charge and they only charged me a thousand dollars over sticker so an eighty nine thousand dollar truck cost me ninety thousand plus i traded in my ram 2500 which i owed i think 33.9 for it they gave me 32.5 because right now the truck market is insane like they are grabbing everything possible anything that's available dealerships want it on their lot because there's just not enough inventory for the biggest months like april may that are coming up and where well we sell the most amount of vehicles period in the whole year so it's a big thing i kind of sort of worked out great and it worked out in my favor by trading in when i did especially a cummins diesel but i got it for like i said 33.9 is what i owed on it they gave me 32.5 so only had like 1500 dollars negative equity that i moved into this truck and only got charged a thousand dollars over sticker and yes probably by the time you see this video i don't know five six months from now you're gonna be like how dare this guy pay anything over sticker or not even get a discount keep in mind guys this truck just came out like literally a month ago like this is a completely brand new thing in march and february of this year and everybody's still charging a crazy amount over sticker so 90,000 plus 1500 negative equity plus of course sales tax which in my state in north carolina is three percent which is like 2800 or three thousand dollars on this truck so out the door i'm right around 95,000, which is not bad at all to be honest with you guys for this truck it's worth it it really is all right guys enough talking here's what we're going to do we're going to jump in the truck and the next part of course we're going to talk about my payments what those look like what is the interest rate and of course insurance because i can't stop staring at this thing so i'd rather just drive it than just stare at it let's go all right so for this part of the video guys i figured let's just jump in and uh let's have some fun on this truck so why did i buy a ninety thousand dollar ram 1500 well <laughs> you can literally bury the needle in this truck and oh man dude it, it's smiles per gallon it is literally smiles per gallon because the gas mileage for anybody wondering still sucks it's still well of course right now but it's still below 11 miles per gallon i have not been able to get it to 12 miles per gallon whatsoever and that's city driving 14 on the highway nowhere near so i don't know where they got those numbers from completely out of this world and completely made up in my opinion and my experience so far with 2,000 miles on it but yeah guys 700 horsepower and it literally does not even feel like it's 6,500 pounds it's so worth it like for anybody looking this is absolutely an, an awesome awesome truck so let's talk about the car payment because that is of course why you guys came here so I work in finance at one of the dealerships uh, locally here and I did something that I literally literally preach and tell people not to do and that is to do an 84 month loan on a vehicle why did I do an 84 month loan and why do I tell people not to do an 84 month loan well first off guys if you're doing it for the reason of getting a lower payment you are absolutely just you should not be getting that car it's too much for you it's not worth it because if you can't afford a payment at 72 months do not get that like literally there's no no reason for you to get yourself buried or 96 months like some credit unions offer which is completely stupid and of course they'll throw a high interest rate on top of that and then you're still going to be buried so even when you come in and trade in three to four years you will not be able to get out of that truck or that vehicle it does not matter it's just not worth it but why did i do it two two really really good reasons and of course it wasn't for the payment payment is not an issue i had a two thousand dollar payment on the gtr that was no problem at all my reasoning was because well first off i did not pay over sticker on this truck okay i paid a thousand dollars over sticker on the truck that's nothing compared to what people and dealerships are still charging right now like i bought mine a month ago and dealerships even now are still charging five to ten thousand dollars minimum over sticker on these trucks for all kinds of reasons so as of now i'm still sitting good because well i didn't move much negative equity into it and i didn't pay a crap ton over uh the sticker or the addendums that they're putting on these trucks so right now i'm sitting good even though it's did an 84 month term at the same time right now the market the used car market is insane because there's just not enough inventory for everybody and because of that the trade-in value is just stupid on all the cars all the trucks on everything because there's just not enough there but a super high demand not only did i not pay much over sticker but i know the trucks period are just holding their value very very well my diesel i bought it used 
six or seven months ago and I put 10,000 miles on it and I bought it for 35,000. I traded it in for 33,000. That's that's really, really strong. Like I did not lose as much as I thought I would. So that's what makes it awesome. That's what I love it. And that's why I did 84 month term. So who did I go with? I went through Chrysler. I went through Chrysler. I did the track off through Chrysler as well. Not a bad bank, super easy to do payments on. And the interest rate came back to like 5%, which on 84 months is really strong. Most dealerships and most banks are charging like eight to 10 percent for an 84 month term oh even higher than that at 96 months if you can get approved because that's just too long and too much of a risk for a lot of banks so my payments are right around 1350 for 84 months at five percent not bad even though it is like i said a longer term but my interest rate so much lower that i will be paying the truck off a lot quicker and of course i'm going to pay it off quicker as well like i'm not going to do the base payments which would take forever to pay off let's be real guys you know me six to twelve months this sucker is going to be gone i'll have enough fun with it already that i just uh, i want something new i don't know how you can compete or beat a truck like this uh unless ford decides to stop putting eco boost in their little uh raptors cute uh and actually put a manly motor in there yes i'm gonna get bashed for that i'm a mopar guy guys v8s is the only thing i know the only thing i love and then slap a supercharger on top of it and take my money <laughs> take all of my money now let's talk about the insurance for this truck because this is also important and this is uh, kind of like a loophole that I found that I love, I love about uh, buying trucks or sleeper cars, period. What do I mean by sleeper? Here's the thing. We had a Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk, right? To most insurances, Trackhawk doesn't mean anything. Literally, all they see is a Jeep Grand Cherokee. That's it. They don't know it's a $100,000 Jeep Grand Cherokee with a Hellcat motor, 700 horsepower. So whenever we had our previous Trackhawk that got totaled, we were paying for full coverage like 100 bucks a month through Geico because all they did was like, you click through their options and it's like, okay, Jeep Grand Cherokee, cool, cool. V8, cool, that's it. We picked it. There's no like, oh my God, this is a 700 horsepower truck. Let's charge them in substantial, crazy amount for the insurance. So so we were paying dirt cheap insurance and we got of course in the bad accident not our fault they paid out they didn't even care they didn't have a choice but i bet you that's going to change in their system after our accident because they paid for a hundred thousand dollar jeep so that was uh that was a big uh big paycheck they had to write out now with this ram the way insurance sees it is this is just a ram 1500 yes it does say that hey this is you know a trx they do have all these options but they just don't know what that means so 700 horsepower truck ninety thousand dollar window sticker is a hundred 70 bucks a month through state farm that is that's crazy like a hundred thousand dollar vehicle if you were to get you know of course a ferrari porsche lambo you're gonna pay more but this is still a very fast and like you need to know what you're doing truck like this is not just a ram 1500 but 170 dollars a month is a really good payment like that is super strong and uh yeah it's kind of like a loophole so yeah guys there's a, a little tip i guess you can say uh geico is the same state farm is the same farm bureau is the same they know what these cars are and trucks are but they just don't have an option to be like hey v6 v8 supercharged <laughs> it's just on a different level and should probably cost a little more to of course insure but hey i'm not complaining uh the thing is like gas mileage wise you know i'm getting 10 miles a gallon so even though my car payment is 1350 not bad my insurance is 170 bucks not bad for a ninety thousand dollar vehicle uh the gas mileage and the gas pricing and how much i pay every month for fuel makes up for it so in the long run i guess it kind of balances itself out guys but the reason guys that why i would even consider paying ninety thousand dollars for a truck like this as well God, dude, just just to hear that supercharger wide, like take my money. Ta I don't care how much it costs. I don't have much. I, I don't care how much it is over sticker. I don't care how much it costs. I want this in my driveway, and that's exactly what everybody else is saying too, guys. And that's why they're still able to charge ten thousand dollars over sticker, and people are paying it without even like complaining or trying to negotiate. They just aren't doing it because this is something on a completely different level. Raptors can't even keep up with this. I'm sorry, guys, but if you want to line up your Raptor against this thing, stop stock for stock let's do it now if you're talking something else like a built raptor give me a little bit of time and i'll have this thing built as well but yeah guys 1350 a month not bad insurance like i said it's 170 bucks a month 
totally easy to do. So total, you're looking at $1,500 for a $100,000 truck plus fuel, which is like an extra probably three to $400 a month. So that, that part, let's just not talk about it. We're here to talk about the car payment. Oh man, I swear, I feel like I'm gonna get more trouble with this truck than my uh, Charger Red Eye that's getting built to a thousand horsepower. So I can't wait for that. By the way, for the people wondering, uh, why do I have tape on my windshield? Well, let me show you. You see that, uh, you see that piece of tape right there? So whenever we're gonna drop off the Charger, uh, my wife was following behind me and yeah, that is a massive, massive chip on that windshield. So uh, my appointment to get that filled in is not till like a week from now. So I'm just worried about it, like literally getting any bigger than that because I'd rather just get that filled in for a hundred bucks instead of getting a new windshield that's probably a thousand dollars. So I love this truck. I legitimately do guys. And if you enjoyed what you've seen, of course, make sure you subscribe to this guy. I heard that there's only 10% of you guys that are actually subscribed, even though there's more of you that enjoy this content clearly. So if you're watching this video and you made it all the way to this, so I would appreciate it so, so much if you guys would just click that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a single penny. I promise you guys it's free. And if you don't like the channel, if you don't like the content next, give me a week and I'm going to show you guys what's going to be coming here. If you don't like it, I'll subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this whole video, guys. Thank you so much for being awesome. Thank you so much for stopping by every single time I upload and watching all these awesome and crazy expensive, stupid expensive purchases that I make. And uh, thank you for just being awesome. Enjoy your lives. Enjoy your massive expensive or not expensive trucks. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.